Hi, this is Rich Masabney. I am excited today to have with us this Vicenia America, Gail King. Take a close-up of this lovely lady. You can take the camera off me. Uh, and, you know, you never say about a lady's age, right? But here we can. You have to be, to run uh, in all the states, you have to be 60 or, a, or better, as uh, Pinky O'Neill is sitting here as a former winner herself. Uh, and this lady, Gail King, is 61. That's correct. Uh, who'd believe it? But she's 61, <laughs> and she has been, uh, she's Miss uh, Senior America 2009. And she'd be finishing up her reign, uh, where she's originally from uh, Long Island, New York, and then uh, she competed and all, and, and finally, was it in Atlantic City? Atlantic City, New Jersey. I won the title of Miss Senior America. Were you excited? Very excited. Did you excited. believe it? I mean, yeah. It was surreal. I figured. It was fantastic, and I will keep the title until October. Oh, good, good. Um, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's a great thing for uh, people over 60. Uh, uh, our Pinky O'Neill always talks about that. Uh, it, it's encouraging. There are a lot of women who might be watching this show at 65, and I think we even had uh, competitors, if that's the word to use, who might have been 80. Is that right, Pinky? Yes. Yeah. So it isn't just for a young one. You're a young one. I'm a young one. You know. And I, I can't wait to turn 80. I isn't look at the something? role models of these women. They're fabulous. Now, what I want to first do, folks, is put up on the screen, if we could, Steve Cordell, I want to put up, uh, this is a, a local uh, website of MsVirginiaSenior.com, and a local phone number, 703-549-7012. And uh, we have Gail King, of course, Miss Senior America 2009. Uh, you have a very interesting story, very personal story that you, you want to tell and encourage women. Today, it seems like breast cancer is almost an epidemic. Yes. Now, you had it back about 30 years ago, was it? 36 years 30, ago. 36, you're 25. I was 25 years old. Uh, a young girl with no history no of cancer. No history, nobody in my family. I did not fit any statistic at all. Uh, so here you felt a lump. Yes. And, and, and you took it from there and you had many surgeries. You want to just tell us a little about that? Yes. Uh, at first it was very difficult for me to even get a biopsy because the odds were 10,000 to 1. It was certainly nothing. But we know our bodies very well. We know our bodies better than anyone. And I really did want to have this checked out. By the fifth doctor, the fifth doctor said, I will definitely do a biopsy on you. I do know that there is indeed a lump there. It's probably benign. Many women do suffer from cystitis. Right. And I asked him if he would please check it. We waited a month and a half. I went back and I said, I do not see it going away. And would you please, please humor me and do the biopsy. Fortunately for me, the doctor agreed to do so. Mm -hmm. It turned out that that lump was benign, but underneath it was the cancerous growth. Mm -hmm. And if I hadn't been checking, and I hadn't insisted upon it, we don't know where I would have been today. Right. Are you making this your life's work to inform the women and to encourage them for those that might have any yes, kind of cancer, but particularly breast absolutely. cancer, which seems to be kind of prevalent. Yes. I am now going around the country. I am speaking at different venues. I'm going to be working uh, on Cancer Schmancer with the actress Fran Drescher. Oh, okay. I've been working with the Baldwin Foundation. I've spoken at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, who has actually had three tapes of me out on YouTube, oh. in which I am talking about my experiences. It's very important. My goal is for early detection for all women so that we can catch this. There is no reason for this disease to continue spreading as it has. Mm -hmm. And I do see it as my role, and I take it upon myself to get out there and to help other people. Well, uh, yeah, it seems like every family has somebody who has breast cancer. There is no one who has not been touched by it. Yeah, so uh, this is so, so important. Uh, you know, if for any reason you want to get in touch with uh, Gail King, uh, we have a local number here. 
703-549-7012. And of course, we can get you in touch with uh, Gail King if you, for any reason, she, you want her. She goes around and speaks around the country. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, we have a website, as I said, you'll see it on the screen, msvirginiasenior.com. And uh, uh, this is, uh, being the Miss Senior uh, uh, America, as you are, 2009, uh, it, it's a serious uh, position to have. It is. It isn't, I mean, you have a talent, you happen to be a pretty woman. Thank you. But that isn't a requirement, is no. it? No, it is not. Senior America is about your inner beauty, yes. who you are, what you stand for, what you represent. Which I'd like to go back to the platform for breast cancer. Please. I also discuss ways in which we can cope with the illness as we have it, ways to help others in our family, things that we can do, talking about a positive attitude, and I think all of that will help women. So if anybody is indeed listening who would like to speak with me, it would not only be my pleasure, but I can send magazine articles that I've also written which will help women and their families. My gosh. I want to ask you a uh, lighter note. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your talent uh, f t uh, that helped you win the 2009? My talent was that I choreographed an original lyrical ballet. Mm. And again, overcoming adversity through love, hope, compassion, and what I like to call inner beauty. And it tells a story, but it's a positive story of overcoming struggles, reaching out, and look where I am today. Would anyone have believed this 25-year-old woman lying in a hospital with less than 30% chance would one day grow up and become Miss Senior America and spread the word and help others? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's an emotional story to me. You know, I'm involved mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Miss Senior America or Miss Senior Virginia and uh, I know, sorry, I saw recently the people who are running for uh, the position. Yes. Uh, I was at a, a rehearsal a week ago or so, and uh, they all have something to say. Yes. Something to say. And um, I just want to say, I, I thank you for taking the time. I know you got a, a, a crazy schedule, but Gail King, Miss Senior America 2009, uh, you'll make an impression on us even 20 years from thank today, uh, remembering you and what you did. And uh, you're, you've got an important thing to say to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, much for coming on Thank the Arlington you. Weekly News. Thank you for having me. My Such pleasure. A, our pleasure. Thank you. Back to the desk. Thank you. Oh, see. All right. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Rich. I don't know why. Thanks, Rich. Rich is right here. <laughs> right over here. Doing an interview with uh, Miss Senior America. Tonight. 2009. 2009. Gail King. Beautiful lady. Wonderful. Uh, interview and a uh, good message she's getting out there to yeah. uh, all, all the ladies, all the women. Okay, anything else to add? That should do it. That's that should it. do it. Okay. Thanks, guys, and uh, thank you crew and staff and everyone here at uh, the Arlington Weekly News. Um, that's it for this edition of our show. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a safe week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.